Everybody, welcome to the Texas Troubadour Theater for another Midnight Jamboree. Are we going to have a good time tonight? I'm Keith Pilgrim. I'll be your host for our warm-up show. And I tell you what, this this is this is something. I uh, work the Midnight Jamboree with Ernest Tubb in this building and Justin Tubb and all the guests we had. It was one one lady in particular that gave me a really hard time on stage, not only here, but at the Grand Ole Opry. That was Jeannie Seeley. Give her a Yes, we have. Thank you for being here with us tonight to get this back. You are simply one of the great voices that represents well, Nashville, Tennessee, and country music. I appreciate that. Would, would you tell, pass that along to Mike Huckleby and Larry Black? Just let, let them know. Yeah. Yes, I heard Mike Huckleby and Larry Black, and they do much attention to what I said, but we're trying. Jeannie, you just celebrated. 55 years of the Grand Ole Opry. Can you do it? What do you remember about that first night? Um, let's see. The very first night I was there, I remember feeling every emotion that a person would probably feel from sheer terror mm -hmm. to sheer excitement. I'm at the Grand Ole Opry, you know, so it was everything that you ever dreamed that it would be. But, you know, the Opry and the Midnight Jamboree just have always gone hand in yeah. hand. So I think it's so important, and I appreciate all the folks here that are willing to step up and help us support Ronnie Collins and all the gang here at Dale Town to bring the Midnight Jamboree. I think E.T. would be proud of us. I know he would. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll tell you, I remember you on the Ernest Tubb television show. Yeah, uh, Ernest, this is one of the reasons that's very close to my heart, too, because when I first came to Nashville, I was working out of the same agency, the yeah. Al Smith Agency, and Ernest really extended a helping hand to me. He put me on the Midnight Tambourine mm -hmm. the very first time, and... Uh, also then on his television. Yeah, you were a regular, and there was another guy, I can't remember his name, he was a songwriter, and he had slick back hair, yeah. and always wore a turtleneck or a tie, yeah. and you wouldn't recognize him. Now his name's Willie Nelson. Right. <laughs> it's so funny to see all those old pictures of Willie, and that's when I first met him, too. But you know, uh, it just takes a whole community to support to get this back up and running. Through the pandemic shutdown, we've got so many things in office now. Of course, we've lost the generation of the job for a while, but we have it all back. And what we like to make sure everybody knows is there still is classic, traditional country music and dance. 